Can you ask God, men of God? You are all welcome, men of God and men of God. Just take this song for the invitation to invite the people. And I know you enjoyed this song was one of my songs as I'm using it for this food that was and we are still treating the bloodshed, the benefit, the severe benefit of the bloodshed. The severe benefit of the blood. all the viewers uh god bless you as you are here try to help me to invite the people i'm um, repeating this song once again and we need your your brother compromise invite people you and share somebody Find share to somebody, to somebody and buy somebody as this is one of my songs also that i'm giving us a part of the program just for reflection listen to this song also and god bless you as we buy some people Oh, I copy the chapter that just want to repeat the song for invitation to invite the people.
Seven, the seven benefit of the blood of Jesus. Uh, that is part four. Reconciliation by the blood shed on the cross. Now, I just want you to just have confidence and go scripture by scripture with me. At the end of this song, this is the final song to enter from scripture to scripture. Thank you. 
here tonight we thank god for his word and we give him glory we glorify the name of the lord now um as we are going to continue on with the scripture i want to inform you that now we are going to continue with the scripture just go with me from scripture, to scripture. and then we will see the glory of the lord it's not by our strength not by our power but by the power of the holy spirit i pray that whomsoever that is going under the shadow of my voice today who will, will glorify the name of the Lord, will see the divine salvation or the divine breakthrough upon their life. I pray that may God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob take a flow control over your life. Tonight, I'm going to speak about the reconciliation. Reconciliation is very, very important in every aspect of life. Reconciliation is very, very important. I want to tell you, my brethren, whatsoever that you are doing you needed reconciliation and you needed to reconcile to each of each uh, of and everyone or you need to reconcile but i want to tell you tonight that jesus christ came on the cross to reconcile and tonight i'm going to reveal a secret which you might not know because many of us there are there are voices that is crying against me and you or against us in a way that maybe we don't know or in the way that maybe we don't understand. But I want to tell you that whatsoever you are going through, sometimes you need a voice to speak on your behalf. Sometimes you need someone to speak on your behalf. But I want to tell you that tonight, you need divine voice to reconcile for you. There are some issues you can't go forward to go and ask for reconciliation. You need someone superior to go and ask for reconciliation. I want to tell you that tonight, you need to accept that only Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, was shared as a ministry of reconciliation to reconcile for you. I don't know what you have been going through, and I don't know what you needed to reconcile, whom you needed to reconcile, but I want to tell you one thing you know you have to know is you need to have an, a ministry of reconciliation, which will reconcile for you, which will ask and will pardon your sin and will accept you or permit you to be on your position. This is the mystery that every Christian must know. This is the mystery that every Christian must know. But most of us, we just take Christianity as part of just life. No, it's, it's not something like that. It's not like that. But the case is Christianity is I mean, giving your life totally to God and accept Jesus Christ as your personal and savior and claim the right or the, the, the good aspect. What do I mean the good aspect? Sometimes you need the Holy Spirit to, to lead you in every aspect in your life, but you may think, you may think that maybe you are capable to do things by yourself, but it's not true. Whomsoever that says, I'm, I'm capable to care for myself, mostly is a liar. Sometimes you need someone to speak on your behalf. Sometimes you need someone to look at your issues. I want to tell you that, my brethren, whatever you are, whatsoever we are go you are going through, you needed Holy Spirit to take up low control. First of all, first of all, I'm going to Okay, now, for the meantime, let's go on a certain issue. Uh, let's start from that is the book of Genesis. Let's look at the book of Genesis chapter 4, verse 10. The book of Genesis chapter 4, verse 10. Something happens there. And why you need a reconciliation? Because there are some issues that a voice is crying against your life, against your soul. But you might not know. You might not know. Tonight, you have to understand the secret. The book of Genesis chapter 10, chapter 4, verse 10 said and he said what hast thou done 
the voice of that brother blood cry unto me from the ground and bible said without remission of sin there is no forgiveness of sin and bible said a voice of your brother cry against you from the ground some voice is crying against you the bible said the blood of jesus speak greater than the blood of Eben. and that is the reason why it is because it's only the blood of jesus that is great and mighty and that is valued that is valued ab above every blood i want to tell you my brethren there are many of us that a, a voice is crying against us i've already speak it i spoke about it and let me still remind you because we come from a certain wicked society or wicked family many of us if you look at how what our grandparents have been going through it's very dangerous for someone to even make mention of it um god bless all of you emmanuel people god bless you man of god uh sister mama sister rebecca god bless you uh a charm sister char god bless you collins to four oh man of god god bless all of you my sister maybe it's also is here man of god oh, sorry man uh man, man of god Asemuta also is here god bless you you are welcome i hope everything is well also prophetize uh Hagar also is is with me tonight very earlier god bless each of and everyone those in europe those in other part of the world you are all welcome in the name of the lord help me to also share as as long as uh, as well as john kunadu also a man of god is with us tonight god bless each of and everyone please help me to share this program and invite people to join it for this is the one of the most important thing that people must know no there are sometimes many people are thinking of deliverance 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 you must know the kind of sicknesses that you seek before you seek for for medicine many people don't know and don't believe this kind of thing and it is always fighting against them tonight i will show you any secret in the scripture just keep following me step by step and so he said the blood of your brother is crying against you just if we'll be out there man i'm on trust the blood of your brother is crying against you but first of all the person is already gone he's dead but Bible said his blood crying in on the ground, on the ground, crying against you. So I want to tell you that there are some voices that is crying against the blood of your grandfather, grandmother, and grandparent. You must to also know what voice is crying against you. How does it affect your life? When does it affect your life? There are so many incidents that is happening in their life in your life or my 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 happening in your life or repetition of history have a cause and and a danger behind it there is an a voice behind some certain thing that is repeat, repeating in your family or repeating in your life let him tell you one thing that you need to do that you needed to also accept jesus christ because a blood is crying against you based on the family you're coming from and, and a certain act have been done or spiritual act have been done when we talk of spiritual act involved with bloodshed and all criminal aspect because there are so many families that don't use family members for the ritual act but they rather i mean tag, target strangers on the roadside catch them kill them barely many people alive destroy many people use many people life barely people life take people blood life taking people, I mean, uh, part life, why the person is crying. Uh, uh, there are so many things that are as not necessary to mention it because many people cannot listen to such a kind of things. So let me limit on it, uh, put limit on it. And so all this kind of wicked acts take place from our grandparents or from our grandmothers or from uh, our forefathers. And all these voices are crying against us because of an idol which they wanted to bring at hard home because of a money which we want to we want to change the destiny of the family, which is not true. It is a satanic strategy to bring this family under cases. And many of us don't know. So what we do, no problem. What we do is 
we needed to accept Jesus Christ to speak for us because when such kind of things happens, there is no way and means. I'm going to show you in a secret where blood has been cried against people and God listened to even those voices, those who are dead. When you go to even the, the book of Revelation, the Bible said that the blood of sin who were killed are crying, were crying. So I want to tell you that a blood is crying against you. A blood is crying against you. I've already talked about the bloodshed. But let me enlighten you before you understand what I'm talking about. Because many people just take life just like that. Christianity is not light thing. If your life is not light thing, if your life is not light thing, don't take Christianity as light thing. Mm, William, God bless you. William, God bless all of you. You are welcome. Help me to share this uh, program. Now, let, let's go into, according to the Genesis chapter 6, Four and nine. Let me just enlighten you, enlighten you from here a bit before we go to other sections. Genesis chapter six, from ten going down. Uh, yeah, sorry. Genesis chapter uh, chapter nine, four and six. Genesis chapter nine, four and six. Genesis chapter nine, four and six. Four says, but flesh which the life thereof. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye eat not. Hmm? Bible is speaking about the blood. That there is that is life. There is life in that blood. And that is why if your blood dread off, your soul will quit off from there because there is no space anymore. And surely ye surely your blood of your life. What I require at the hand of every beast, will I require it, and at the hand of men, at the hand of every man, brother, what I require the life of the man. Whosoever shall men blood by men, shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God, meet he him it's a scriptural and let me just bible is a spiritual book so these are the spiritual instruction or spiritual rules or spiritual laws that people don't respect it and that is why it's fighting against us we commit crime which we don't respect the crime which we have commit we just take it at something that we think so we believe that when we become christians our crimes is covered no we must know we must ask we must confess and that should be one of our reasons that we must fear God and serve him. We don't appreciate what God has done for us. It is because we don't know. You are all welcome, Francis K. Emmanuel, God bless you. Uh, Gordon, uh, Gordon, God bless you, man of God. And also Cynthia, do God bless all of you, man of God, uh, woman of God. Everyone, God bless you and you are welcome. Now, Bible said the blood, the life is in the blood. So don't think, don't think. If your grandfather have catch a, a human being taking his part life while the person is crying, shouting, and that blood, God will ignorant it just because uh, because of what? Are you human being? Are you important? Than, and Bible says every blood will require from the, your brother. And so don't think if you if your father have make a ritual money killing innocent people and because you have come to a blood so you are out of it it's impossible i'm going to show you secret tonight we need to pray and ask god to forgive our sins and accept us we need to respect the reconciliation on the cross many people don't believe the reconciliation that is why things are fall we are falling apart every day oh um sister boy god bless you alicia boy god bless you now i want to tell you that we don't need to ignore such kind of things we need to know why we are Christians. And this should be one of your strong, I mean, joy that being in Christ, all this thing have been taken away. But you must know and appreciate it. You must know and appreciate it. We can't ignore the reconciliation uh, on the cross. We just believe that when we become, we, the most problem or most defeated circle in our life is when we become Christians, we don't pray and ask god confess and ask god to give us uh, 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 our independent 
Because many of us, we are under control of demons because our family have been dedicated to demons, have been dedicated to idols, rituals, shrines. We belong to a certain occult societies which our parents have been giving blood, killing innocent women and children. There are some families that they, they give their firstborn as a rituals. There are some families that use every twin that they born, they born twins, they use that one as a rituals. They use them as a rituals. Life. Kill them. There are many people that depending on blood. And so don't think, don't think that this kind of things will just forget just like that. You need to know. Somebody said that I was not there. How can I know? Here is where we need to accept Jesus Christ once without questions. And here is where we need to ask that if such things have been done and is crying against us. May God have mercy on us. And reconcile for us. We need to reconcile. There are some issues that we need to reconcile with the people. So reconciliation is very, very important. We need to reconcile with people in which we have been offended in their life. Reconcile with them. If you have offended somebody, reconcile with them. Not everything that the blood of Jesus should done. No, there are some things that you yourself must do it. Things that is above your above your knowledge above your standard is what god is going to i mean christ is going to reconcile for you now as you have listened to my voice please if you are offended somebody reconcile it because most wicked christ most wicked people on earth here is christians because we we flood we defraud people we, we defraud people, we betray people, and we don't reconcile. Just come to church and say, God, forgive me. God, forgive me. Please forgive me. Which you have to go and reconcile with a person. We need to reconcile with people. But many Christians don't respect to reconcile with people. All what we want to do is to make up, to make money. All what we need to, for God to give you power. All what we need, you can have the power, but if the reconciliation have not been respected, I tell you, you are still will be going some, you'll be going to danger. Imagine a woman with a, a, a pregnant woman with a child. Would your great grandfather took this woman, kill, take the baby alive while the woman was not dead, kill two of them, use the blood to plant, I mean, to engage, I mean, um, shrine. To make sure they become supreme in the land. And if your father have done this, you just take it light then that your life will be how many women will be survive? How many women will be survive? A stranger, a young man have been taken captive, taking him, take his past life. He's not dead. They didn't even they kill him. They take his part, life, that the person is not dead. You'll be taking his heart, taking things, life, when the person is not dead. And this person will die painfully. And you are telling me that because you have just become a Christian, which you don't know, you are left and right. We must know this kind of things have been done secretly. To uh, for You call yourself, you come from a royal family. When you come from a royal family, you boast yourself that, ah, my father is a king, my father is a chief, my grandmother is that, my grand... Hey, you, are, you, you assess your life that you can become a king, you can become a, a royal... Uh, 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 you can take a royal seat. And if you know yourself that you can take a royal seat, ah, you say, this year in Umoja and the Negro, who is a Umoja and the Negro, no? This year in Umoja and the Negro, and it is all yet this year, ah, as this will be a few things, a Umoja Sam. Royal ship depending on the blood ship. There is no royal without blood system. And so you must know that if you come from a royal family, you must understand clearly that there is a blood system that you need to ask God to, I mean, to subtract you, to exempt you out of some kind of things. So when you become a Christian, you need to respect the mountain of reconciliation. We need to tonight, you need to pray and ask God that May God have mercy on you and reconcile for you and save you out of such an advice. Because Bible said, the blood of your brother shall I require at your hand. And men who shed blood, his blood shall be also or must be shed. And the world thou shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin according to Hebrews 9, 22 there. So let me tell you one thing you need to do this. The blood of Jesus have given us and a privilege by reconciling for us to live or as we don't have any chance we cannot escape but we said who can deliver cutting from mighty warrior who can deliver cutting from the lawful mighty warrior lawful mighty warrior actually i said who is lawful 
is a demon lawful yes demons are lawful by taking action upon you since you have been dedicated to their life to, to their to their shrine if your father dedicated you or if your father dedicated himself or if your grandparent dedicated themselves that ah a man is dying in this family we dedicate this family for this idol or for this shrine and accept to cause such a crime to take human being life kill who take his part life take the eyes life take the tongue act take his heart life when the person is shouting crying dying painfully and that person is cursing that this person you will never have your peace till you reconcile till you confess and your grandfather could not could not confess and this voice is still crying against you i want to tell you that no matter whom you have become you need to respect the mountain of reconciliation on the cross you need to accept the reconciliation on the cross and ask god that whatsoever be the cause of your family, whatsoever be the tax which your family have, or your grandparents have been assumed, you need God to reconcile for you. And that is why Jesus was on the cross. Jesus is not on the cross, just you go and forgive and say, God, forgive my sin. You just open your teeth just like that. You just open your teeth just like that. Jesus did not come and die for such kind of foolish sins. I repeat, Jesus did not come and die for such a stupid sins. Call yourself a minister, committing any nonsense at all. The Bible says, when we know the truth and we sin ignorantly, there is no forgiveness of sin. So we must respect the blood of Jesus. Don't think we just do anything anyhow and just say the blood of Jesus and that is all. You are deceiving yourself. Bible says, many are called, but few are chosen because many respect the blood of Jesus. Ask yourself. If your son or if yourself, you yourself have guaranteed someone to just forgive the person and the person repeated again, will you go and guarantee again? When you guarantee someone for loan and the person did not pay, who pay it? Who pay it? It's you that must pay it because you are the guarantor. And how do we, you pay it? You can pay God by the blood of Jesus. You can pay God by your own blood, by accepting him as your personal and savior, and respect the reconciliation, and quit from any kind of sin. Reconciliation is most important for every Christian to respect that the one someone have reconciled for you based on what he needed from you. He needs you to come to him. To present you as a holy servant. I want to tell you, my brethren and sisters, we don't need to ignorant the reconciliation. It's very, very important. You are all welcome, man of God, Judge. You are welcome, George, you are welcome, and Kennedy, you are welcome, John, also, you are all welcome in the name of the Lord. May God Almighty bless you and help me to share and invite people because we need to know this. Emmanuel, God bless all of you. You are welcome. You, you need to know this. You need to know this, and you must respect it. And these are these are the things that people don't know and don't want to know. And so we take Christianity light turn to do what we want. If you understand and if you are aware that Jesus Christ has guaranteed your life in a spiritual world by reconciling you by his blood, you will not do what you want. You will not claim to be a Christian and continue deceiving people, betraying people, do what we want. It is why Christians are always in, in victim of sin. Why? It is because we don't want to know the truth and we don't recognize the truth. We must recognize the reconciliation on the cross before you are sin, before you can be reconciled. Many people are not reconciled because when you become a Christian, you just need that any means to get power. Many people, I say, many people are controlled by familiar spirit, but they don't know. It is because what, what is going on, you are not aware of what is going on. What sure is that the power belongs to you or you are activating the power. How do you activate in the power of the Holy Ghost? If you don't know, go on your knees. If you don't know how Holy Ghost, I mean the power of Holy Ghost activating you and how Holy Ghost controls you, how the Holy Ghost manifests by you, go on your knees because you might be using by wasted power. Here is where many families have been given to an idols and their rituals and shrines. And here is where 
some so there are some family that every 10 years most important person will go there will be nothing to save that person there are some family that every star any person that they will burn him there are some children if they die people will just cry because if you look at that child the kind of person that person is ah my brother you you would like that person to leave but surely that person must go why it is because there is an irreconciliation the person has been given as an thanks and somebody said every star every important person that will come into this family i give him as a tax and idols will take and the shrine will use that one and so don't think you can overtake that only the blood of jesus and so here is where if you become a christian you need the reason why if you become a christian need to know the reconciliation of the cross is for you is that when one become a christian he has become a new creator so satan or demons cannot take you for rituals but you must know it before it can be your 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 part that is why many people are in christ but yet they fall in victim justice to do god bless you and i must uh, god bless all of you you are welcome you are welcome help me to share this message it's very very important Everybody is going to profit because I seek, because I need money, because things are not going well. You are not searching for what kind of sicknesses that is worrying you. And find out what to do. There is which my family, not everything is which. There are some things even the which don't have assets to because the whole family have been dedicated in the shrine with the painful rituals, with the hard rituals, burying a human being life. To speak against you that voice is speaking against you do you think it's a light thing that you can just say ah god forgive my sin and you just go on fornicating you just go on doing robbing people you just go on taking advantage of people you just go on i mean doing what any kind of things that you want i repeat again the blood of jesus is not there for nonsense i repeat again I say the blood of Jesus is not there for nonsense. For nonsense, that is what Bible says. If you know the truth and you sin, there is no forgiveness of sin. That left with a fearful judgment. So, if you are a minister and you are acting stupidly, stop. No prayer will answer. Remember that Moses went to God and God said, "Speak not on your issue. Speak not on your issue." Moses go to God wanted to speak about his issue, but God said, "Moses, he said yes, that." speak not on your issue speak not on god allowed moses to speak on behalf of israel not to destroy them but when moses go for his own god says speak not on your issue so i want to tell you if you will respect your soul if you will respect yourself respect yourself before the time respect yourself before the time you are a woman and god have called you and you are living as a child of god you don't respect yourself in your marriage. Keep on fornicating anyhow. Find, I mean, causing adultery anyhow. Finding money to do extra things. What does that mean? I want to tell you, my brethren and my sisters, whatever we are, we need to respect the blood of Jesus for a reconciliation. The reconciliation on the cross is very, very important. I'm telling you the truth. Maybe you think your pastor is not powerful. Maybe you think the prophet is not powerful. Maybe you think you have been sowing seed for so long and it's not working. Maybe you think God is not answering your prayer because you don't know what you seek. And if you don't know your problem, you're still repeating it. History cannot repeat on you if you get the knowledge bible says lack of knowledge people perish lack of knowledge people perish there are perishing christians at, at so many places but they claim to be strong or true christian um, um daniel god bless you Brimpo, god bless you you are welcome all of you you are welcome please help me to share and invite the people also we need to know this before somebody prophesies for you the person might tell you what's wrong with you you don't need the man of God say, hey, you will get American visa. You say, oh, thank God. You are going to die there. Do you know how somebody was dead? How your, your grandfather took a stranger, killed him in a house, destroyed him in a house, scattered somebody alive. Imagine somebody is taking your part alive, taking your, your, your hand alive, taking your heart alive, taking, I mean, any part of you alive for rituals. Imagine if this voice is crying against you. And you are still become a Christian, don't respect yourself at all. When you take this, it's, I don't know what kind of teachings, where it comes from, that the weaknesses of somebody, weaknesses of somebody, 
okay, okay. Bible says without holiness, no one will see God. And so if your weaknesses will take you to him. And Satan will base on your weaknesses and destroy you. Knowing that the weaknesses of Samson bring him to death. The weaknesses of Samson bring him to death. The weaknesses of David bring curse in his family. So if you grow yourself in the scripture of weaknesses, I never see where it has been written in the Bible of weaknesses of men. Bible said, repent. We celebrate Easter, fornicating inside Easter. We're celebrating Easter, robbing inside Easter. We're celebrating Easter, doing wrong things inside Easter. We celebrate Easter. I mean, taking rituals within us in the in, 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 in the church. Come on, come on, come on. We have to learn to do something. We have to learn to change. Bible said, "Come unto me and learn of me." Jesus said, "Come unto me and learn unto uh, uh, and learn of me." He did not say, "Come unto me and come unto me and take and go." That is how you are. Now, at this day, Christians are uh, come unto me and take and go. Everybody that is going to church needs something, needs something automatically. Not our life, not our life. We are just like worldly people. All what we go for to church for is to get something, is to get something. God help me to buy a car. God help me to get married. You are going to die. You are saying, God help me to get, get married. Then somebody, you are going to die on top of somebody. Pray that God help me save my life. Secure me. Bible said those who go to the secret place of the Lord, those who abide the secret place of the Lord, abide under his tabernacle, but you are not at the secret place of the Lord. What make you be at the secret place of the Lord? What make you be? What is your evidence that you are at the high strong tower? You are inside the shadow. You are under the canopy of God. Be under a, a canopy. Have under rules and restrictions. So you must respect yourself whatever you are going through that you needed Christ to take a flow control over your life. Of course, uh, God bless you, man of God. I'm telling you the truth. Many of us at these days, as we are going, wherever we go, we're just going to church because the prophet is good, because the prophet is great. I'm not against prophecy and I'm not against your blessings, but I'm telling you where you are not right. And I'm telling you why history continues repeating and things taking place in your life. There isn't the cause of trouble that continue in your life. There is nothing can save you unless you yourself go on your knees approach the grace on the cross that reconcile for me may this not happen in my life anymore because bible said the blood of your brother will require from your hand and our grandparents have committed serious crime we talk of um, black americans white came and take them who took them we sell them have we asked forgiveness of sin no have we asked forgiveness of sin? No. Who sold them for, for them? Who sold, who started the, the, I mean, the slip trade is North Africa. They came and buy salt, take one person with a salt of small, come and sell them to France. And from there, slip trade continue. We sold our Britain into America. We sold them to France, Britain, and other countries, and they took them and sold them to where they want and used them as Joseph family sold them. Have when are we going to repent? When are we? We are crying of Africa non improvement. We need to cry for God to reconcile us of our brethren whom we have took advantage and sold them for white people to go and misuse them, kill them, mismanage them anyhow. We are not even one day thinking to be guilty of it. We always blame in how they are treating them. If we did not sell them, how will them be there? We have to learn to ask a right prayer. We need to make a right prayer. We are making ignorant prayers in our life because our prayer has no direction. You are under curse and you are claiming the power of God. You are under curse. You are claiming the power of God. You are under curse. You are claiming to be a prophet. It can be yes. It can be yes because Bible said earlier, that if it, there will be a man of God in your heart, but they will beg. It doesn't matter your position. It doesn't matter the anointed upon you. It matter have knowledge of whom you are and what to do. Bible said earlier, even your house, there will be a great people there. Even if there will be a man of God, he will beg and eat. Why another man of God are giving heat of a man, sharing to give people? Nothing pains me in more like even those who use rituals to claim to be prophet. Those who use your grandfather. 
have caused a crime that we needed to go on our knees and God forgive me. Forgive the sin of my grandparents. We don't even do that. Again, again, we go and take rituals to come and to come and do miracles. When did God call you? You. When did God call you? Have God called you? If no, how, who asked you to go and do miracles? For what? Bible said, if someone is prophet, I, the Lord, will reveal myself to him. You can make yourself false prophet. Uh, no wonder. When you go to any Bible school, they give you a certificate. I don't know when Aaron gets certificate. I don't know when Moses gets certificate. I don't know the certificate of Elijah. I don't know the certificate of Elijah. I don't know the certificate of Peter and Paul. But now, if anybody goes to Bible school, he takes certificate. He begins to minister and robbing people. Well, God will bring all into one day to the last point. And my sister, and um, Rita, I do God bless you and um, Belinda. God bless all of you. You are all welcome. Help me to share this program. Because things like this, people don't want to know. Suppose I'm calling each of and everyone, telling you the secret, telling you the mystery, prophesying on you, telling you, yes, it will work. It will work. But you will still fall in victim. Imagine if you come from David family and God have not saved you. You will die anyhow with the soul. So we must to check the 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 trouble that have been connected into our soul. Our soul have no rest at all. Trouble that is going on from day and day. Do you think it's easier? A blood is on the ground. Cry against you. That is the word of God. Why God did not say, Oh, uh, your brother, uh, you have done this and this, so I'll punish you and you go. No, Bible said, listen, the you have the blood of your brother is on the ground crying against you yeah. reporting against you somebody voice crying against you somebody voice shouting against you maybe you i repeat again you think you come from a royal family so you are very important yes it's true but every royal go by the bloodship or go by the blood system or this year did the and grow man say i can be you or this year did the and grow it be another with him it be a 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 with him it be who call Papa a few more because no dinner? Who call Mammy few more because no dinner? Bibi did you are going to be a good one? You need to respect the word of God. You need to respect the word of God because in your father family, in your mother family, somebody was buried alive and that voice is crying against you. How are you going to approach that soul? Where are you going to stand on that soul? How are you going to compensate that soul? Somebody had trade. Go and buy gold. And those who sold the gold for this man, across this man, attack him, kill him, and take the whole gold. And that blood is crying against the descendant of your parent or your grandparent. A woman make gold or trip, go and sell things. Bringing money home, those who bought those things approach her on the road, kill her on the road, taking the money, taking even part of that woman and use it as rituals and take the money. And you're a woman, you come from that family. What do you think should happen? What is your judgment? Did they do right? Is your parent right? Is your grandparent right? Blood is crying against you. Bible says a blood is crying against you. So you need to know how to approach it. You can approach it by surrender and say, God, under your canopy, please, under your canopy, please help me and keep me out of this trouble that I belong to. You belong to a destruction. I'm not talking just talking, said. I'm taking you to a scripture which you know that God doesn't close his eyes. Bible said, Leave sinner on, thou shalt not leave sinner unpunished. So whatever you do, you rape on earth here. Whatever you do on earth here, you reap. We have to know what we are sowing. We have to know what we are sowing. Your grandmother poisoned his husband and become madam. And you think your brothers are going to survive anyhow. Your father took your mother for rituals and married another woman, claiming to become a great person. You think you, 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 the, the descendant of your father is going to take it easy. You just want to become MP. You buried human being life to become MP. And you think your father have done that you are you are innocent. God said, David. David was somebody that God had recommended as a man of his heart. But yet he said, 
Saul will not depart from your house. I'm telling you, we need to ignore it. Someone said, ah, if you become Christian, all things is gone. No, we must, Bible said, lack of knowledge, people perish. We must know what to pray for. Many of us, we need deliverance, totally deliverance, but we call ourselves prophet. We call ourselves evangelists. We call ourselves pastors. We call it because you are the church you are. You have tried to pray hypocrite to a point that they have employed you to become a pastor. And you go to Bible school and you have your Bible certificate. So you are a pastor. You go in the meet God. And at the end of the day, you are causing abortion inside that church. At the end of the day, you are raping women inside that church. At the end of the day, you are you are you have been sleeping with many women, being the same pastor. At the end of the day, you you are robbing people on business grounds. At the same time, deceiving people, calling yourself a minister in the church. Please let let's go on 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 on, on something now. Quickly, let's go to first uh, Colossians one twenty. Colossians one twenty. Jesus Christ came for a purpose, not nonsense. So if you are a Christian, you must respect yourself on whatever you are doing. Don't think you just go and confess. Bible said, if we are, if we, he is so merciful that if we approach him with boldness, he is able, he is faithful to forgive us our sin. That kind of words is why it's giving you certificate to sin, to do, commit any crime that you want, to betray people the way you want, to do whatever you want. No, Bible did not say do so. Bible also said. When you sin ignorantly or woeful, is not he will not forgive you, left with judgment. And so many of us we go back to our case, but we don't know. Many of us I say we, we are still inheriting our case, despite what God has using you for. So if God is using you, you must respect yourself. Not because God is using you means you can misbehave and doing any rubbish that you want. Please, you are all welcome. Collins, also Prophet Collins is here. Alfred Kusiapia, oh, you are all welcome. Oh, you are all welcome in the name of the Lord. George, oh, George, George, you are welcome. Also, uh, Lina, or say, oh, Lina, God bless you. It's locked down. God bless you. Now, let's look at Col uh, Colossia, not Colossians, Colossia. Colossia 1, 20 and 21. Colossia. After Philippians, people, many people have been taking it difficult to know Philippians. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, Colossia. After Ephesians, you go to uh, you go to Philippians and from there you go to Colossia. Because many people take Colossia also. <laughs> Another struggle to know where is it. Colossia. In the New Testament, you don't go to Testament, please. Uh, there are some Christians that disgrace people too much. Uh, Colossia 1, 20 and 21. <laughs> And having made peace through the blood of the, of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, all things unto himself. Christ reconciled you unto himself. He did not reconcile you to just do whatever you want. Red pen. If you know that your life, <laughs> you have red card, be careful. God have reconciled you. If you didn't take care, your next thing is red card. So many Christians look at your red card. So if you go on whatever you want. <laughs> by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him I say, whether they be things in earth, they, do, they be things in earth, inside the earth, in earth. Things in heaven. Things in heavens. My brethren, whatever be the cause christ is the only one that can save you he reconciled us unto himself and so if someone reconciled you unto himself what do you have to do you must respect to him and you that were sometimes aligned alanted an enemy in your mind by wicked works yet now had he reconciled. 22. In the body of his flesh, through death, to present you holy and unblameless and unprobable in his sight. Holy and blameless. So when you accept Jesus Christ, you have been reconciled unto him. 
And the next thing you know is to recognize the reconciliation that God, Christ, have come and died and reconciled you unto himself. So your life must be respected in him. That we should be presented as holy and blameless. So if this is the case, how do we become Christian, continue defiling ourselves, giving us Christ that hey, this is the weakness of the, uh, the men and, and, and pastors, apostles keeping on telling people this kind of things. And that is encouraging many people to maintain sin in our life. My brethren, if your brother, if your parent, if your grandparent have shared blood and you come and cause abortion and you come and claim kill people and you come and deceive people and you come and betray people and you come and do whatever all kind of sort of things being an a christian the same kind of person what do you think you are doing many of us we are disqualified many christians are disqualified you are disqualified you need change of mind you need change of mind or else repent many christians bible said not me showing you repent you bible said many are called but few are choosing so many are repent few are True. So I want to tell you that he reconciled us unto himself. It's like, it's, it's, a, it's like you have a debt and you want to pay it. There is no money. And somebody's okay. Instead for you to go to prison, I paid that debt. And you work and pay it. So if the person paid that debt and you are in his company, what do you have to do? You need to wait till you pay it. Or else this same person can take you to prison again because there is contract on it. This is very, very simple. So we need to apply knowledge. We need to understand Christ. If we don't under, if we refuse to understand Christ, Christ will not understand us. You have gone and take loan. And something has happened that you cannot pay it. And someone said, okay, instead for, for this loan, repeating, I mean, interest to make it so a hit on you, I pay it, but take goods and go and sell it and bring the profit gradually till you cover it. And you say, I can't do business, I cannot sell. What do you think you are doing? We must know what we are doing. Many people, we are ignorant in our Christianity, but because we are thinking, we think, we think. We think we can do whatever we want. Prayer is not there for just doing any sort of things because there are some prayer. Bible said the prayer of sinner is an abomination before God. So many of us we operate in abomination grounds. We operate on abomination grounds. You call yourself a man of God. You call yourself a sister in the Lord. You call yourself dignesses. You somebody said me. I don't want anything. You anytime you may be whom you ever you are you must live according to the reconciliation rules you must respect it and maintain your life bible says give your life as holy acceptable give your life as a living sacrifice holy acceptable you can't please god after death you cannot maintain dignity after death there is no holiness after death left with judgment why because you did not respect what you're supposed to respect we must know how to know christianity is being in a good contract not to breach contract is to respect the contract not to breach on contract let me tell you if your grandparents have made rituals that every important person in the family must be taken by idol and the idols is able to take people surprisingly to become idol priests and it's the contract behind the idols. You cannot escape it. You cannot escape it. And if that happens, how much more God who create you that you need to breach the contract? Even those who worshiping idols, when they did not fulfill the, the ritual act of the idols to pay their vows, they, they kill them. They die. On that grounds, how much more God himself you are going to breach contract with God? We have to learn to respect and to be faithful in God. Because he has reconciled us unto himself. He has reconciled us. Listen, Colossians 1.27, and having made peace, that means there were no peace. There were no peace. Abraham wanted to make peace for Solomon and Gomorrah, but it did not hold on. But Christ spoke and God understood it. 
So don't think you can just misbehave. We need to respect the voice that is interceding on our behalf. And I repeat again. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him I say, whether there be things in earth, in earth, things that have been buried. Remember, Bible said, before you was born, I know it be, and I appointed you as a prophet to root out things and pull out things. All things in heaven, the Bible said, we fight not against the flesh and blood, but against authority, principality, and wicked spin the high realms. So there are some rituals they will preach in the high realms. That is why Papa said the prince of uh, Persia was able to freeze the asset of the prayer of Daniel. There are some, not everything that is operating in the ground or in the earth, some are operating also in the high realm. So we don't, we don't have to forget it. Whosoever you think you are, my brother, you cannot escape. Only Jesus Christ that can save you. And so the reconciliation is very, very important. I pray that whosoever that is going under the shadow of my voice, you go on your knees and say, God, I pray for the reconciliation. Save me. I'm standing on the cross for the reconciliation. Any act that is against me, save my life. For today, tonight, I know and understood clearly that you hang on the cross to take away the curse. Bible said, curse are anyone who be or who hang on the cross. And these are the curses that Christ have taken on the cross. Take my curse and consign me unto yourself. And from now onwards, I will walk unto your glory. I give my life as a living sacrifice, holy acceptable unto the Lord. Bible said, this is the reason of your worship. This is the reason, reasonable of your worship. This is the, the act of your worship. So you cannot just worship God just because you have money or because you can do whatever you want. No. People dress and go to church. You are laughing at yourself. People boost on church. People just follow friends to church. You don't know what you are doing. There are so many ignorant Christians because we don't teach people what to do, where we belong to. We must know ourselves whom we are. Erica Posa, God bless you, man of God. So we must know where we belong to. Reconciliation is very, very important that we need to do. And we need to ask God. And we need to respect it as the blood of Jesus have made it. Now, let's continue. All those on the way, uh, those on board, please help me to share. Help me to share. Many people don't like to listen to things like this. But it's very important because the Bible says lack of knowledge. People perish. Many people perish because we think, we think, when we, we go and sow seed, you sow seed for the man of God to, to, to advance the ministry, but that does not make you reconciliation. If you must know that you need to go on your knees and say, God, forgive me and accept me on the cross. Tonight, keep me part of the reconciliation ministry that all, oh, whatever voice that is crying against me on earth, on air, please have mercy on me and accept me unto your glory. And there you become free from it. Let's go to Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians, not Colossians, Corinthians. Second Corinthians five. Second Corinthians five. Second Corinthians five. I believe you know where Second Corinthians is. So <laughs> some people before you read finish, they are still searching for their Second Corinthians at the Old, Old Testament because the Bible is very neat and they don't read it. It means Second Corinthians five eighteen. Second Corinthians five eighteen and nineteen. Second Corinthians five eighteen and nineteen. I read. And all things are of God, who have reconciled us to Himself by Jesus Christ and have given to us the ministry of reconciliation. The ministry of reconciliation. What do that mean? Special office for reconciliation. If you go to court, there are different cases. We have criminal law, uh, criminal lawyers, 
We have migration lawyers. We have a uh, other different, different kind of lawyers with their own perspective or specialization. So in the spiritual grounds, there are specialization. And so Christ gives this specialization that there are some people that we need special reconciliation. We need special, I mean, operation to set out free because Bible says who can deliver cat, uh, captive from the mighty lawful hand. There are some people, your trouble are in mighty lawful hand because there is an cause. If not, if somebody cannot, I mean, curse you and you die. Because one yeah, left and right. Ewe na msumu. Niye nyay se, de biyana, sofo na shame, komi na sofo, wido ko obesha wun, komi na sofo, obiti. Nami, uti yon pa ibu, wanti yon pa ibu, baby, on one hour. E se se wun, pa bi sim, nimdiya me men, nimdiya me men, nimdiya me yira. Nye nimdiya wun yamimu, ne jina sunya, wun yam msumu nyadin. Mbone ya do swa me krisu fododo. Yem peno kre, de e pan se wun, branabe yu se, yesu wan kasa. Now, he said, for all things are of God. That is Second Corinthians chapter five, eighteen. That all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to Himself by Jesus Christ, and have given us, have given to us the ministry of reconciliation. To wait that God was in Christ, that God was in Christ, reconciled the world unto Himself, not in putting their trespass unto them and had committed on uh, unto us the word of reconciliation and so god is in christ reconciled to us that we will be part of him we will be part in his kingdom so that our sin will not be count against us so we must know why jesus on the cross we must know and the people don't want to know. All what we want to know is, God give me, God help me. I need this. You need to buy a car. You are going to get accident and die. Say, I need car. For what? My brethren, my sisters, you cannot, God is, you can't mock God. You can't love God. You can just mock yourself. Many people don't respect to be a right Christians. And even many people don't respect. I mean, myself. Eh, I don't have time, especially those in abroad. I don't have time in eh, my work. I, 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 I close work. You close work. Friday evening, twelve o'clock. Rest on Saturday. Sunday, you say I'm tired. What could do my fear that I did do me? No one want to make me that way. See that they are chalapa. Because now my brain made me angry. So, hey, so you will be. Yeah, wow. Hey, so you will be. We need to be a. We sit down and we will be at home. He said, one born by security is very, very important. So you need to pray and you need to secure your life. You need to protect your life. Protection is better than cure. There are some people, unless they are almost die before they respect men of God to pray. At some time, God don't care for those kind of nonsense. You have been spending your life. Many people go to prophet and pray and pray and vow. Before they, they make journey, and after their journey becomes sources, they don't want to respect it. They just ignorant God. Who, who, who give you that kind of idea? Who can, who, what kind of idea is that? We need to respect the word of God. I mean, obedience is better than sacrifice. Let me tell you a story. I met a certain guy that was coming to him abroad, and he had been tried. And I pray for this guy. And after I pray with the guy, I say, guy, you know, your next attempt you are going, and you are going to achieve it. But immediately you are, you are right. There is two cases you need to escape. A woman that is intact, in, 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 interested in you, you will go to prison that woman. And any attempt you make for drug business, you can't even make one until you be arrested and sent to prison. So try to control yourself immediately you land. You get to Europe. Be very, very careful. This is waiting for you over there. 
as I pray for him, he said, okay, man of God, thank you. My Baba, he thought I was joking or I was looking for money. And I, I don't need money. If it, I'm, talk, I'm telling you a serious issue. I was even stranded. But when he talked of money, I said, I don't need money. Go, keep your money with you. But if you refuse my word and you make any effort to read any drug business, next thing is to prison. You will not even get even five inches that would they arrest you. Now, when this guy enter into abroad the next thing one week time he just called me when he get to europe he didn't call me pastor thank you for your prayer no he didn't do that he forget about you i don't need money just say oh sir we thank god that uh by the grace of god i have got through so that i will even be happy that i pray for somebody and god have result positive no next thing is you know he meet guys and say guy wow you are very you are very fast you're very intelligent guy since you have come just try this one first trip Next thing is they just arrest him. He took therapy in prison. Hello, I want to speak with pastor. They said, pastor is busy. He said, no, 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 no. I want to, I'm calling from abroad. I'm so, 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 so. They said, ah, what is it? I want to speak with pastor. Hello, pastor. When you hear my voice, say, huh, pastor, please. You know, when you told me this and that and that and that, you know, I make mistake. When this guy approached me, I, I, I forget it. And when they give to me, they, I mean, I didn't go out. When police come and arrest me and the thing was with me. And so, I'm <laughs> any amount you need pray. I say, my brother, are you crazy? Any amount that I need, I should pray. When you did not respect the voice of God, and you are now being, being in danger, me go and fast and pray to God that you did not respect my voice. You must be in prison. That is what you want. And I drop the phone. Call my family. Any amount you need, they will put it for you. If, if you need 100,000 euros for me to be in prison for all this kind of years, please. Any amount you need. And I say thank you for money. You know I'm stranded here. I need money, but not this kind of money. Take your money. Serve God in prison. And I bounce the call and go my way. Because I don't respect those who don't respect the voice of God. I'm telling you, obedience is better than sacrifice. Tonight, you need to give your life to God. You cannot give excuses. Many of us, we are just donors. God is chasing for us. And we are also trying to... I mean, pray game with God. You can't pray game. If God have called you as a minister, you can't pray game with God. If God have called you to, to do his work, you can't pray game with God. If God needed you, my brother, submit, submit. Your life can just bounce and bounce and bounce. You may think you are trying, you are hustling, you are struggler, you are very intelligent. My brother, you are wasting your, your life for nothing. If you're a woman, you think your beauty can escape. Don't try. Don't try. Your ability cannot do anything. What you need to do is tonight, lift your voice and lift your hands and surrender to God. And do right then. For Bible said, God have reconciled you unto himself. To wait that God was in Christ reconciled the world unto himself, not inputting their trespass unto them and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Christianity, all about Christianity, is about reconciliation. For God to reconcile you unto himself, you need to respect it. God is taking you out of the demon's hands and keep you in his glory. What do we have to do? And why are we giving excuses of not serving God? It means we don't want to accept the reconciliation. This is the time that we need to give our life to Christ. This is the time that we need to submit to God. Our intelligence and everything is not count because in the spiritual realm, you cannot escape from the demons. If you did not give your life to Christ, maybe things will continue to harm you. Maybe you are a Christian, but you are still indulging sin in within your life. You are still maintaining yourself in a certain position that is not secure at all. What you need to do is you need to reconcile to God. Accept the reconciliation of Christ on the cross. Oh, Richard Adema. Oh, man of God, it's a long time. God bless you. And Ajaya Yeboa and Samuel Edisa. God bless all of you. You are all welcome in the Lord. And so tell me, uh, uh, Trim, Oscar, God bless you. Evans, Oben, God bless all of you. You are all welcome in the Lord. Uh, today we are treating the seven benefits of the blood of jesus part four reconciliation by the blood 
and the cross. Tonight we are treating reconciliation. And on going this, let's look at something also. I, I want to I, I want us to look at something also. According to the Romans 5, the book of Romans chapter 5. The book of Romans chapter 5, 10 and 11. Let's go there. Romans 5, 10 and 11. I'm just taking some few quotations to just um, to elaborate this things. And I know that if you take your Bible and go more details, there are more details that you may have it. But I want to just give you some flash on it. I want you to take serious on reading your Bible and this kind of issues so that God will agree that may God open the eyes of your heart so that you understand how to go on issues. How to go on issues. Yeah. Now, Romans chapter 5, verse 10 and 11, I read from here. For, it, for if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. I repeat, if, for if, when, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Now, what is that life? By his blood. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our, through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now clevered the atonement. Through him, we get an atonement of sin. I have already spoken of atonement. And so through Jesus Christ, that atonement was made for you, me and you, in order that we might be saved. Let's go back to 7 and 9 also. It said, that is uh, um, Romans chapter 5, uh, 8 and 9 also. It said, but God commanded his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. When we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Not when we become Christian, Christ died for us. Christ will never die for you after you become a Christian. No, it is not scriptural. When we were yet sinners, so when you are not a Christian, Christ dead for your sin to be paid in order to be qualified to become a Christian. So when you accept Jesus Christ, all your sins have been cancelled. But one thing is, you need to maintain your life. So Christianity is continuation of reconciliation. Continuation. That is why Paul said, forgetting the previous and forgetting the past tense is continuation of holiness, continuation of grace, maintaining yourself under the continuation of grace. I mean, press on in holiness and do best as you can. And said, Christ died for us much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. And so the blood of Jesus have justified me and you and also have saved us from the, the the wrath of god and so if the blood of jesus have justified you from the wrath and you are still maintaining yourself to engage yourself in sin what do you think is coming upon you somebody is coming against you with saw or with gun and someone i mean approach the person and beg the person and give what the person need in order that you might save. And you go and repeat the same thing. What do you think you are doing? What do you think you are doing? We have to be very careful. We Christians, we have to be very careful. When you were yet sinner, that God loved you to save you. So if God has saved you and you have become a Christian through the blood of Jesus, which was shared on the cross by the plans and the vision of God, that your life will be hiding in him, that you will not remain under the condemnation. Because the Bible says those who believe in his son shall not be condemned. But those who do not believe in his son will remain in condemnation. And so if you are not in condemnation and you go and do any wrong thing again, we have to be very careful. We have to be very careful. And so, my brethren, I want to tell you that 
It's a scripture that God have reconciled you unto himself. But what we need to do is to continue. So I read verse 10, I repeat again. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. So when you are becoming a Christian, you, you, you depend on the death of, uh, of Jesus Christ. And that qualifies you to become a child of God. That qualifies you, I mean, to be a son of God. I want to tell you one thing that we don't need to ignorant the reconciliation. It's the only moment that God look at and save me and you. Mm -hmm. And love is that, and not only so, but we also join in God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. So you cannot rejoice in God without Jesus Christ. It's impossible. That is the scripture. By whom we have now received the atonement. And what is the atonement? The atonement is what last time I talked about. And so by atonement of Jesus Christ, you are sin have been washed. And Bible said, come and raise, come, let's raise it together. If your sin is like Christ, I will wash you and you shall become white as snow. And if your sin, if your sin is like Christ, I will wash you and we shall become white than snow. And so let me tell you, it's only the blood of Jesus that can wash spiritual sins, spiritual stain, spiritual, I mean, calamities that can wash Watch and forgive and accept you in his glory. Quickly turn to me to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14. The book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14. Today we will not keep long. We are just going. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14. 14 to 16. 2, 14 to 16. Now, for he is our peace, who had made both one, and have broken down the middle wall of petition between us. The middle wall of petition between us. And so there is war. What are those kind of war? There are strong walls that defend, I mean, I mean, defending us from our right. There are strong walls that blocking us from our progressive. There are strong walls that shadow our, our, our sources, our destiny. There is a strong wall that look. There are the war of Jericho was shattering the destiny of children of Israel, and so till God brought it down, there were no means for them to go. There are a war when you talk of war. Also, River Jordan was a war against the children of Israel to cross it because Bible said that overflow. So there are so many war. Bible said, I will make mountains level because there are some mountains that are war against your life. Bible said, I'll make the crooked way straight. There are some ways you can never cross. There are some level none of the family can cross because it's a crooked way that are behind against the family. Bible said, I will lift up every valley. There are some valleys that are strong, there are strong walls. There are valleys that you cannot cross. And so let me tell you, my brethren, God is, I mean, reconcile you and save you from such kind of dangerous things. And so what we need to do is to respect the word of God because there is war that you cannot cross. Only Jesus Christ that can help you and take you and make a bridge. And so he is the bridge to cross every danger in your life. I repeat the, the book of Ephesians chapter um, 2 verse 14 down them 2 14 said for he is our peace who have made both one and have broken down the middle wall of petition between us having abolished in all flesh and enmity even the law of commandment containing in ordinance for to make an himself twin one now men twin now one man so make peace since he said and that he might reconcile both unto god in one body by the cross having sealed the enemy thereby amen having sealed the enmity thereby having sealed and so our enemy have been overcome by the blood on the cross, based on the reconciliation. Based on the reconciliation. So we need to maintain ourselves the dignity and respect the word of God. Please. We have become beggars at the eyes of God, which is, should not be so. If you bring 100, let me say, if you bring 100 Christians, 99 is under begging situation, not serving God, including ministers. We always need something from God. We never go and ask God to, to, to put us in the right position. And that is why we go on sin anyhow. 
Men of our God, we need power of God without deliverance. We haven't yet got deliverance. We need the power of God. What is using you? You don't know the power that is using you. And you are claiming to be powerful. We have to be very careful. 17 said, And come and preach peace to you which were afar off and to them that were near. For through him we both have asset by one spirit unto the Father. We have asset to God by, by the reconciliation on the cross. We have only asset to God by the blood that was shed on the cross. We have asset to God by the power of God. Now I'm going to share some mystery with you in the Bible, some secret with you about the reconciliation. Quickly turn to me, quickly turn to me to the book of Second Samuel, chapter 21. Second Samuel, chapter 21. Please, it's not New Testament, so you don't wish to attend there. Come back here. <laughs> Somebody said, where can I find it? You can find it quickly, because many of us, we don't read Bible. We walk from morning to evening, 24 hours we walk. We don't even read Bible. We, sometimes, once a while, somebody just take his Bible, the dust, hey, he just, go and, I mean, oh my God, may God forgive us. We need to read our Bible every day. We need to go into our scripture. We need to study. Second Samuel chapter 21. Are you there? Second Samuel chapter 21. Verse 1 to 9. L listen to this very, very important. Hmm? I'm going to read it. Listen to this case. It's very, very, very complicated. Hmm? Being in a Christian, we must know where we belong to. Many people don't know this. Listen to this case. Why you need a reconciliation. A blood is crying against you. God done ignorant innocent blood would cry many people are in grief crying many people have been buried alive and their blood is still crying the blood can never stop without the blood of jesus it will continue to have effect on many souls based on how we use rituals in our uh, to gain power to gain authority to get money to overcome people to destroy people there are some family before you go some one part will just kill other part Many people is like that. When you go to that part, they will kill all the man by rituals, and every man that you born will die. They kill all the man from that part so that nobody will arise to, to, to claim their position. May God have mercy. Second Samuel chapter 21, I'll start from 1 to 9. Then there was a famine in the, in the day of David, three years year after year and david inquired of the lord and the lord answered it is for saul and for his uh, bloody house because he sealed the gibeonite listen the whole people of israel bible said who bless you i'll bless you who cares you i'll curse him and i'll bless you you are going out and you are coming in there will be rain for you and Bible said, a blood continue cry because of Gibeonians. When you read, Bible said, Abraham, I give you this land. And when he take Joshua, he said, clear all the people who are worshiping idols and disobeying me and doing wrong things. Clear them out of the land. And remember King Saul tried to bring gold and sheaves and the king of Agitab and God become anointed and quit him out of his position. And God said, keep all these idol worshippers out of the land. Clear them off. Take there and worship me there. And so the reason why God is to bless you is to, is to worship him and glorify his name. And then these things happened also when they go and kill the Gibeonians because Joshua made covenant with them. Many people kill people that are to trust them. Many people work with people and when to get money, pay them the take means to clear them off many people put their trust in people giving them money build house for me in order that person will not come that that secret will, will not happen then he just goes somewhere to go and kill him kill him for me kunumami paninya japade mana no afeche no kunukura na aye ne dia na wo se ji se aduma wi ya no be jina ha se asol dem asai e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e
Now, then God become anointed over Israel, and Femi come upon them, because the voice of Gibeonite. And the king called the Gibeonite and said unto them, and said unto them, and said unto them, Now the Gibeonites were not of the children of Israel, but of the remnant of the Amorites. And the children of Israel had sworn unto them and sought, sought to seal them. You know, Saul came and set their eyes on those Gibeonites who were, came and made covenant with, with Joshua. Seal them in his zeal. Seal them in his zeal. Your father, your parent can become a prime minister and cause crime on their own joy and claim right. Your, your father or your mother can, can be at office and take state money and come to court and claim rights and gain rights. But God will not respect that right. That curse will come on you. Many people kill people. A lawyer come and say, say, it's not me. He says, it's not me. That curse is, on, is dead. That blood is crying against the descendant. This is the children of Israel I'm talking about. God started curse on them. Curse come on the children of Israel. When King Saul killed the Gibeonites unlawfully, but for his own zeal, curse come on them. So don't think, whomsoever you are, if you, you contaminate, contamination is contaminate. If you contaminate, don't think it's easier thing. Verse 3 said, Therefore, David said unto the Gibeonites, What shall I do for you, and wherewith shall I make the atonement, that ye may bless the inheritance of the Lord? Should the worldly people bless the, the inheritance of the Lord? Yes, if we sin unlawfully. If you sin unlawfully, many pastors have gone bastard children and hiding them. Many fathers have gone bastard children and hiding them. Many bishop and many, I mean, prophet have gone bastard hiding them, thinking God cannot see. If man did not see, God will not see. Hmm. May God have mercy. On. And David was asking for a tournament. And Gibeonite said unto him, We will have no silver, no gold for Saul, of Saul, nor of his house, neither for us shall thou kill any man in Israel, and has said, What ye shall say that we I, I that will I do for you? And they answer the king, then men they and they answered the king. The man that commit us, consume us, and that devolve against us, that we should be destroyed from remain in any of the coast of Israel. Let seven men of his sons be delivered unto us, and we will hang them up unto the Lord in the Gibeon of Saul, where when, whom the Lord did choose, and the king said, I will give them. My brethren, imagine this case. Imagine this case. When King Saul get power and grow strong, he killed the Gibeonians the way he want, and they run from the land. And afterward, those who were killed, their blood cry. Cry! God, we have covenant with you. We have covenant with Joshua. We have covenant with you, and you have been killing by your people unlawfully. And God bring curse on the children of Israel. And they were suffering from famine. And so when David went to God and said, God, what is happening? He said, you are destroying the Gibeonians. Go and get reconcile with them, or else I will continue to destroy you. And when they went, oh, that could God bless you, man of God, you are welcome. And when they went, they say we don't need silver, neither gold, neither land, neither any property. Bring the seven children of King Saul, and we will hang him 
He's the one that is consuming us. The one that consuming us is the one that will consume. Bring their sons for me, for us to hang them. It's happened to the children of Israel. It's God that chooses King Saul. But yet they need the one who has been chosen by God's sons to be killed. Why God did not say, no, let's look at what happens there. But the king spell Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, because of the Lord oath that was between them, between David and Jonathan and the son of Saul. But the king took the two sons of Zilpha, the daughter of Ahia, whom she bare unto Saul, Ammonian and uh, Mephibosheth, and the five sons of Michal, the daughter of Saul, whom she brought up for Adra, the sons of Bezeria, the Mahilita. And he delivered them. And he delivered them. He do what? Deliver them unto the, the hand of the Gibeonites, and they hang them, they hang them in the hill before the Lord, before the Lord, and they fall all seven together, they fall all seven together, and were put to death, were put to death in the day of harvest, in the first day in the beginning of the berry harvest. Now, brethren, look at what happened. Bible said, when God came against the children of Israel, and King David went to God and said, God, what have I done? What is happening? He said, that, go to Gibeonite, and they will tell you what you have to do. And when you go to Gibeonite and say, please, what do you need? Anything I will give to you, they say, we don't need anything. King Saul, who kill, who kill us unlawfully, who trace us, who chase us unlawfully. I want to tell you, your grandfather, your grandmother, your grand grand I mean, parent who killed unlawfully, who took stranger, buried him alive to become a king, to become powerful. That your grandfather who took human being, buried him alive in order that he can become great person in the land, in order that to take absolute control over the kingship. That that your grandfather, that your grandmother, that your grandfather, that your grand grandfather who killed the part of the family in order that their side will become great and destroy the whole family in order that he will become a king. Those voices are crying against you and your children. Isn't God that told the children of Israel that go and clear those who worship an idols from the land? Why same God come against them? Is God injustice? No. He give them rules and regulations. And when they have covenant with God by Joshua, they don't have to go over them unlawfully because they humble themselves and accept it. Let me tell you, when you have covenant with someone, you have covenant with someone. When your grandparents have covenant with idols, they have covenant with idols. When they have shrine in your family, they have shrine. When they have dwarf, they have dwarf. Whatever they have, they have, and it's yours. If you are becoming a Christian, if you are giving your life to God, don't think it's just because you are coming to church for pastor. No. Don't think there are some people when they do wrong things in, in the church and, and maybe pastor call them advice. And in this church, they talk too much. Then they turn to they talk too much. They talk people matter too much. You open your mouth just talking anyhow. Are you doing the right thing? If you are not doing wrong thing, who will speak about you? Walk of Jew be Baba Boss, Mewan and Mewan, men few, Mewan and Mewan, men few, Mewan and men few, Mom Cassandra, no kind of fans, and you ask on the crying guy, not to say, Where Jayasore. She said, We are watching so when Yatio and Yabiama, 
Me was a no make us yet down was it was was as who was as with the tag. You, Mammy Mediatel. Yet did Jimmy Tinamian Nation ye? Yet did Jimmy Pa Etinamian Nation ye? We have to learn to be wise. We are living foolishly or we are acting foolishly before the eyes of God. God is omniscient God. He's omnipresent God. We can't hide anything. So if you have wife and children at home and you are engaging somebody's daughter or another woman, thinking that hey, the church is advising you or somebody who knows about it is advising you that do I mean try to amend your way. He said the church talk too much. And you see another foolish person following him. I, this time they return people matter too much. I don't like that kind of way they speak about people matter too much. At the end of the day, they say the man has deceived you. You think you are deceiving God. You are deceiving yourself. We have to know what to do. We have to respect the word of God. Bible says, give your nails the mind, the children of Saul, to hang them. And God said nothing. God is God of justice. We must respect the word of God. God did not send him to come and kill the give your nails. But he go and kill them unlawfully. Let him tell you every crime that I mean crying against us, God is listening to it, and that will affect your life. And that is why we need to come in Christ with holiness. That is why we need to come in Christ and respect the word of God. Bible says, Come ye, those have heavy burden and heavy yoke. My yoke is light, and I will take your burden and give you rice because my yoke is light. So when you come to Christ, when you come to God, he take all the curses and burdens upon you. Bible said he had took our curse upon himself on the cross. He had took our curse upon himself hanging on the cross. So your curse has been hung on the cross. So you don't need to go back and confirm yourself to that by maintaining yourself in sin. We need to reconcile with God. I don't know. Maybe you is you are in under the same circumstances. Maybe a voice is crying because of your grandparent. Maybe a voice is crying because you come from a royal family. Maybe a voice is crying because your father is an a ritual. I mean, ritual leader or a ritual father or spiritual father that commit many crimes to make rituals, killing people for an a ritual act. But let me tell you, voice is crying against someone. You need to go on your nails and say, God Almighty comes to my aid. My life is on today. Man of God, God bless you. Pastor Frank at France, Toulouse. God bless you, wherever you are. All of you, or anyone that on board, God bless each of and everyone. We need to know what to do. We need to respect our Christian life. This is the time for me and you to respect ourselves in the Lord. We need to know when to say yes and when to say no. Oh, my sister Robin Yamiche, God bless you. Juliana, come in. God bless all of you. Kwadjo uh, said, God bless you. Those on Prophet uh, Aten Marco, I'm not getting all of you where, but God bless you if you are on Prophet platform. God bless each of and everyone. Now, what I want to tell you is this. We need to accept Jesus Christ and walk in holiness without excuses. We are celebrating Easter. What is the motive behind? What are you doing from now onwards? But with a lack of knowledge, people perish. Here is where you think the pastors are praying, but things are not happening. Maybe you think you have made vow in the church, but yet things are not taking place. It is because you need to go under reconciliation system. You need to go under reconciliation prayer that God forgive me if any crime has been committed by my grandparent. Please, recon I, I came for reconciliation. Reconcile for me and deliver me out of such a case. Suppose, suppose, suppose King Saul's sons were able to know or recognize and go to them for reconciliation that our father have committed crime against you and we have come to learn that it's not right to do that so please forgive us they should have maybe considered but because they don't know they sit down and wait why i want to ask you a question why that case did not came at the time of king Saul? why that case did not came at the time of king Saul? because 
at the time of King Saul, King Saul will not mind them. Rosemary, bienvenido, bendiciones. Rosemary, God bless you, you are welcome. Now, King Saul, after his death, and King David become a king, taking control of the land of Israel. That is when the curse came. Let him tell you sometimes, God did not bring some effect into people because of the actual person who did it is stubborn or will not listen to it and it will cost many lives. And that is why God endorses it. Look, there are so many verses that say, oh, that I will not bring the case on you, but I will bring it after you are dead. It will come upon your children. God might endorse cases out of each out of point and put it at where he wanted. I want to tell you, this is the time for you to go under prayer of reconciliation and ask God to forgive you and forgive your grandparents and forgive the whole family and accept you. You need to go under the rock of reconciliation. You need to go under the shadow of reconciliation. You need to keep yourself under the canopy of reconciliation. We don't need to misbehave anyhow. We need to go on our nails and say, God, forgive me. I came and I come for reconciliation. Please, I come for the ministry of reconciliation. That whatsoever my grandparents have been done and have not yet reconciled, please forgive us and save us. We are under your shadow. My life is unto thee. And take Jesus Christ as your personal and savior based on the reconciliation. I tell you that only the Moses Mufi was saved. Why? Because David have covenant with Jonathan and did not break that covenant. Respect the covenant. Be Christian means being under the covenant of the Most High God. Respecting the covenant of the cross. Jesus said, this is the new covenant which I'm making for you. Jesus said, this is the new covenant which I'm making with my blood. Take it, eat. This is my flesh. Take it, drink. This is my blood. This is the New Testament. And after they do that, then the curse was cancelled and withdrawn from children of Israel. If you read going down. So I want to tell you, my brethren, I want to tell you, my brethren, my sisters, those on board or those at the platform, please share this message to people. There are many people that are misbehaving in the churches, causing trouble upon themselves, thinking that when you become a Christian, you can do whatever you want. No, no. You need to go and respect the blood that was shed on the cross, that the blood was shed to reconcile you from any destruction that is coming upon you, to reconcile you from unknowing cases that is assigned to attack you, to, I mean, to reconcile you or to deliver you, to save you from any spiritual vows or any spiritual virus also. And this infection comes as virus. When you prosper, when things go well, when you are at peace, things take you surprisingly. It is because there is an excess that is ruining. There is an a trouble that is ruining. There is an a blood that is crying. There is an a blood that is shouting based on the crime what your grandparent or your parent or even you yourself have committed. Many of us have caused many people to cause suicide. Many of us have betrayed many people and they have caused suicide. Many of us have killing people. Many of us have, have destroyed the life of people. We have disappointed many people and they are crying. People are still mentioning our name. It is because of this person that made this happen to me. It is because of this person that failed me. It is because of this person, if not this has happened. And people are crying on us and we don't care. We don't care. We must be very careful. We need to go on reconciliation. If we have sinned against somebody, try to reconcile with a person. If you have committed crime against someone, reconcile. If a sin has been committed unknowingly, yet you need to reconcile to God, go on your knees, lift your hands, and give your life. Bible says give your life as living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Lord. They needed life. Your life is demined as somewhere. 
your life a blood is crying that none of this family can be at that stage and now you are almost at that stage blood is crying against your soul you need to give your life to jesus christ you need to accept the reconciliation on the cross that now onwards that now onwards the reconciliation jesus said it is finished because i have stand for him now it is finished when Jesus made the reconciliation for the family, it is finished. And the reconciliation has been already made, accept, accept it. The reconciliation has been made, left with the respect it. Here is where everybody on earth here must accept Jesus Christ as their personal and savior in order that any kind of voice that is crying, there is no other blood that can reconcile. There is no other blood that can reconcile for the sin which has been committed and the case that is coming or chasing us based on the blood that is crying on the ground, based on the blood that is crying in the sea, based on the blood that is crying on the mountains, based on the blood that is crying on where crime was committed. Only blood of Jesus that can wash that sin that can i mean demand your right or else maybe you are under the same situation of king saul king saul's sons was demanded by gibeonite to be killed hang them before the lord and god accepted maybe you don't know where you belong to tonight you need to go on your nails and say god any case that is against me please please appeal the blood of jesus for reconciliation Reconciliation is very important. Without reconciliation, you cannot escape from any kind of curse or any kind of condemnation or any kind of destruction. That is why the Bible said, lack of knowledge, people perish. The children of Israel was perishing lack of knowing the mystery. But when they go and approach what be the cause, the blood must shed. You need someone to stand for you. And that is Jesus, only Jesus Christ. Listen, now, what lesson do you take from that? Because, because, because David have covenant with Jonathan, Masibufi, only the covenant of Jonathan stand as the covenant of Christ. Only the covenant of Christ. Among the children of of King Saul. Only Mephibosheth was escaped because of the covenant that Jonathan had with David. I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, the blood of Jesus standing as a voice of Jonathan. Even though Jonathan have dead, but the covenant of Jonathan still remain active at the aspect of King David. And so he excuse or uh, he exempt Mesopotamia. But they needed all the children of or descendants of King Saul. But because there is an a covenant to escape Mesopotamia, there is an a covenant to exempt him. And God respect the covenant. God respect the covenant. And so God accepts Mesopotamia to be escaped because of the covenant i want to tell you that there is an a covenant for you that is the covenant of jesus christ i want to tell you my brother and my sister whatever you are the blood of jesus is there to exempt you from any kind of destruction even though in your family even though among your family even though in your family there might be an a trouble even though there might be an a bloodshed but i want to tell you that the blood of jesus will exempt you because the blood of jesus exempt Mephibosheth, it is because of the covenant that's standing between David and Jonathan. I want to tell you that the blood of Jesus is exempting you tonight. If you agree, if you agree, if you accept, and if you, uh, I mean, give your life, if you, I mean, give your life and accept the covenant of Jesus Christ, let him tell you the blood of Jesus is on a covenant that is exempting you, that can exempt you. Only the blood of Jesus, only the covenant in Christ can exempt you from any curse and every destruction and every trouble. I want to tell you that only the blood of Jesus can qualify you 
to keep you out of the trouble. I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, whatever you are, tonight I want you to maintain yourself and respect the voice of the Lord. I want you to maintain yourself and respect the word of the Lord. I want you to determine that from now onwards, your life will not be shared with the, I mean, with people anyhow. But from now onwards, you give your life as holy, I mean, holy acceptable unto the Lord. God said, give your life as holy acceptable living living so living someone give your lives as living 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 holy acceptable unto the lord my brother since your life this is the time that you can intercede for your children this is the time that you can intercede for your descendant i don't know how much trouble is going on i don't know how long trouble is going on but i want to tell you that this is the time that you need to intercede and call for reconciliation for your children that may god have mercy on you and i believe that since king david since king david was able to save my super film because of the trouble i want to tell you that covenant is still maintaining and that covenant is still there so my brothers my sister whatever you are whatsoever you are going through whatsoever you are going through whatsoever you are going through i want to tell you that you need to sometimes not because of you but sometimes because of your own children because of your own descendant that these things will not hide from them because this thing hide from the israel and they didn't know they didn't know till when till when cares started approaching them till when King David experienced curse on the land and he go and approach the land and God said accept the voice and the mind of I mean the Gibeonid maybe a voice is crying but it's not yet taking active on you it's not yet taking serious active in the family but I want to tell you my brother whatever you are whatever you are doing this is the time that you need to go on your knees and say God I pray for the reconciliation on behalf of my children, on behalf of my family, on behalf of my descendants, on behalf of my husband or my wife. You don't know what is going on, but you might not understand how come things taking place in your life. But I want to invite you, my brethren and sisters, that from now onwards, this Easter is don't take this Easter just for just for enjoyment. No, you need to understand the cause of the value of the blood on the cross you need to know the value of jesus being on the cross is to reconcile you that will exempt you from any kind of destruction any kind of i mean destruction tonight if you will accept jesus christ as your personal and savior tonight if you will rededicate your life if you will rededicate your life to jesus christ as your personal and savior i want to pray with you right now if you accept Jesus Christ as your personal and savior, you might be a true Christian, but yet you don't understand some things. You can still pray with me now and say, my Lord, my God, tonight I pray, sovereign Lord, that Father, I come to the glory of reconciliation. I come to the mountain of reconciliation. Let the blood of Jesus speak on my behalf. Let the blood of Jesus speak on behalf of my family. Let the blood of Jesus speak on behalf of my descendant let the blood of jesus speak on behalf of my life save me from any kind of calamity would have been determined let any calamity would have determined on me be destroyed exempt me from any curse exempt me from any bloodshed exempt me and my children and be descended from any kind of curse that is going by bloodline i pray that lord god almighty have mercy on me from now going i will follow thee i will serve thee i really dedicate my life can you rededicate your life to god at this moment as i'm speaking with you my brother my sister can you rededicate your life to god maybe you have seen and forget it or your eyes have overpassed it but i want to tell you that at this moment you can go on your knees wherever you are and ask god to exempt you it doesn't matter you are pastor, you are apostle. It doesn't matter you are pastor, you are apostle. But it matters to recognize the precious blood that was shed on the cross. It matters accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior. There are many people that are, they are spiritual giants, but yet things are going wrong with them. I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, it's not by your strength, not by power, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. But we need Jesus Christ. It's the only blood that can reconcile. Only the blood of Jesus that can reconcile. Before I end up my voice, 
I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, you need to rededicate your life to God, men of God. You need to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. You need to re-give your life to Jesus Christ. Renew your vow with Jesus Christ. Bible says, give your life as living, holy sacrifice, acceptable unto the Lord. I want you to promise God that from now onwards, you are not going to choke in your Christian life. You are going to serve God the way he wants you to be. Your life don't belong to you. Sometimes someone have right on your soul. Because the Bibliothecians have right at the soul of the sons of King Saul. And God accepts such a sacrifice. But I want to tell you, my brother, whatever you are, you need to go on your knees and say, God, I come for the reconciliation, the blood of reconciliation, the covenant of recon reconciliation. That every forces of darkness that have right on me based on a calamity or crime which have been committed by my grandparents or by myself have have mercy on me. Muja asu muja yus se ma muja ye en kasama mi. Ma muja ye en kasama mi. Bompa ye minyo a bompa ye ma muja ye en kasama mi. Ma muja ye en kasama mi. Ebi ya wawye wapa ukro ye funu mwen ni rade en kasama mi. Ebi ya wawye ma muja ye en kasama mi. Ebi ya wawye ni kwen ye funu mwen si rade ma muja ye en kasama mi. Ebi ya ya di bi di wina rade ma muja ye en kasama mi. DNA yao hano wa mani ya usi fre urade, erade mamuja in kasamame. Se nu mi bi etame hawa chie erade mamuja in kasamame. Sa mani bi etame hawa chie erade mamuja in kasamame. Se uufu bi esu tiamia erade mamuja in kasamame. Mi nyan pompaye, pray, say God, if any blood is crying against me, I come for the, the, the mountain of reconciliation me. Father, exempt me, have mercy on me. Maybe your wife is sick. Maybe your wife is at tipsy. Maybe your husband is at hospital or your child. I don't know what you are going through and what I've been repeating as history upon your life. But I want to tell you that if Christ come in, the blood speak greater than the blood of Abel. The Lord God Almighty, every voice that is speaking greatly, weeping against my soul, please. Please come into my aid and save me. Please come to my soul, come to my side, help me. I want you just to pray. It's a moment of reconciliation. I cannot make covenant for you. It's up to you to make covenant with God. Make covenant with God. Promise God with your life because the, the children of Gibeon did not ask for anything. They did not ask for anything. They said, they, we don't need silver, another gold. There are some issues silver and gold cannot solve it. Money cannot solve it. There are some issues demanding blood. And here is where many people fall in victim in blood because of what did, what has happened and what is going on. This is the time that you need the blood of Jesus to reconcile you. Samuel Nama, God bless you, man of God, wherever you are. I'm coming to an end of this issue, but I want you to reconcile with God that God, whatsoever voice that is crying against me. Seven means that God bless you, Nana, Amiya, God bless you, Deborah, uh, God bless you, all of you. God bless each of and everyone that is listening to my voice. We are in a moment of, I mean, of rededication. I pray that May you understand this and rededicate your life to God. Because the Bible said, Gibeon yet demand the children of King Saul to retaliate him. I want to tell you, my brother, God has set these children behind him on the cross to justify the case. Maybe the crime has been committed by you 
or by your brother or by your mother, by your grandparent to take power, to take position. And that blood is crying against you. I want you to just go on your nails. It's crying a voice, a blood is crying against you because maybe your grandmother killed his husband and took property. Maybe your grandfather used your grandmother for a ritual and he died painfully. I pray that God Almighty have mercy. I pray for reconciliation action be taken upon anyone that is going under the shadow of my voice. I pray that my Lord, my God, whomsoever that is crying, whomsoever that is in need or in expectation of your grace, may you have mercy and come to our aid. Strive for your mighty ego hand and show yourself strong. You are eternal king of glory. Thank you. I pray that Lord God Almighty, whomsoever that renew the covenant or the vow with you and give his life fully unto thee. Whomsoever that have promised that from now onwards he's going to serve you effectively with all his life. I pray that may you exempt that person from any kind of curse, from any kind of tragedy, from any kind of trouble, from any kind of problem. I pray that my Lord, my God, stretch forth your mighty able hand and show yourself strong. You are the King of kings and you are the Lord of lords. You are omnipresent, God. Father, you are there. You are omnipresent, God. You know it. Father, you are omnipotent, God. You have power to revise every kind of curse and every kind of tragedy and every kind of problem. We depend on the blood that was shed on the cross that please have mercy on us and accept us in your circumstance and not us to do your word and cause us to be obedient unto your decrees. Our souls, O oh God, is unto thee. Save us. But we said, because you know me, because... You know my name. I will listen to you. And I will set you on high. But so ever mountain that have set as a block or that have set as a boundary, that have set as a wall. Father, have mercy and show yourself strong. Take up slow control, my Lord, my God. Comes to our aid, eternal king of glory. Have your way, God of Israel. Let your name be magnified. You are the king of kings. You are the Lord of Lord. We give you glory, O oh God. I end up the message today and I pray that the blood of Jesus reconcile and the blood of Jesus take up slow control over your life. I pray that from now on. As for Fana, uh, let me say Fana refreshment. Keep on praying. Don't take advantage of this Easter. For take advantage of this Easter and rededicate your life. Rededicate your life for Jesus Christ. Rededicate your life for Jesus Christ. Whatever, whatever. This year is your last stop. This year is your last stop. You need to rededicate your life to God. Recommend your life to God. And I think that God will show his so With God, all things are possible. There is nothing hard to God and there is nothing that God can do. Please share this message 
to someone to be aware of himself. Others, many of us are trying out their best, but it's not working. Not that it's not working, but it's a lack of knowledge they will perish. This is the time that you need to reconcile to God, to respect the Lord of Jesus that have been reconciled. This is the time that you need I mean, to rededicate your life to God. And maintain your vow with God. This is the time you to vow to serve God. And let God know that for the rest of your life, you will serve him in holiness. This is the time to become serious to a Christian. You know, maybe you are not being trained in church. This is the time to start your vow. Maybe you are not being way in the Lord. This is the time that you need to start something. Maybe you are not accepting. Maybe you are not accepting your call. Maybe your call is not for sure. Maybe your call is not for sure. But I want to tell you that this is the time that you need to respond to your call. Many of us, we are not responding to our call. This is another song, but I'm coming to an end. I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, this is the time to be serious in your Christian life. Start to do something. Maybe you are not been going to church at this place. Start afresh. You need to open a new chapter with God. You need to open a new chapter with God. You need to start something new with God. This is the time for me. Start afresh with the Lord. Maybe it's Easter B, the blessed event. Life that from now on, we see the glory of the Lord. God has power to do everything, but we need to show concern for whatever we are going through. Sometimes we need to show concern, and I pray that God Almighty will show concern. May God protect you and guide you. May God strengthen you. I pray that whatever you are going through, may the blood of Jesus speak on your behalf. Whatever voice that is crying against you, may God Almighty take up the control by your life. Thank you. 
any kind of except you come from any kind of bloodless except you from any kind of past except you from any kind of tragedy except you except you from any kind of premature except you from any kind of shadow of truth may the blood of Jesus have been reconciled for you and accept you from any I mean red garment from any sort of food garment from any tears from any upset ya kaburu mashaka tabira sanduri ya ma ya kaburu shanduri ya ya kaburu shabala ya kaburu basa kaburu shanduri ya ma Rabu masaba ya kabu shinde ba Oben, Oben, God bless you No more wake up in the world There must be said it by somebody To continue to an end Rabu rusha kabaya sanduri ya ma May the blood of Jesus regard sign And accept you from any kind of evil voice From any kind of demonic voice From any kind of rituals From any kind of horror vision From any kind of voice that is crying the grave chapter 42 says and seven said I the Lord will hold your right and make you a covenant for the people to deliver those sitting in prison those in the strong room those in the darkened room I stand as Joshua stand and make covenant with the Gibeonians and God take note on them and respect their blood and keep them in his covenant I stand as a servant of the living God lift your hands and shall we make covenant with God I want you to repeat with me the lord god almighty tonight keep me in your covenant take note of my life keep me in your covenant remember me oh god i pray for the blood of jesus i pray keep me part of the reconciliation may the blood of reconciliation reconcile me and exempt me from any kind of any strategy from any kind of demonic attack from any kind of the powerful wicked lawful hand deliver me oh god and save me save me and save my family save us and exempt us from any kind of destruction i pray my lord my god may your blood covers me and may your blood cleanse me sanctify me and accept me i give my life as holy sacrifice unto thee i will serve you i will follow you how you are my god you are my lord my creator my creator remove me give me a new heart give me a perfect heart cause me to walk under the influence of your holy scripture father cause me to walk under the influence of the holy spirit and enable me to do your work and cause me to be obedient unto your decrees help me oh god to overcome every weaknesses and lead me through my life from now on as you god I stand in the covenant of reconciliation that from now on I will follow you I will serve you may your name be glorified glory be unto the holy name take me part of your covenant in the blood on the cross I stand on the blood may the such a blood of covenant spring on me spring on me spring on me keep me O oh God under your covenant keep me O oh God under the blood of jesus keep me oh god keep my soul maintain my soul in front of such a cross may the blood of jesus maintain and remain active for the reconciliation to save me and exempt me from any calamity may i be your son may i be your child help me oh god to stand firm in jesus name today oh lord 
I take you as my personal savior that I will serve you the rest of my life. May my soul remain under your covenant in Jesus' name. May my soul, may the soul of my children, may the soul of my husband, may the soul of my wife, may the soul of my brothers, my sisters, may the soul of my descendant, O God, remain in your covenant of reconciliation to save us and exempt us from any kind of calamity and keep us under your control. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord God Almighty, I thank you for sending your only begotten Son to come and die and save me. I give you glory. Blessed be unto thy holy name. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lord God Almighty, I pray in the name of Jesus, whomsoever that have followed the covenant today, may the reconciliation covenant stand active as the covenant of Jonathan stand active and save from calamity from the hand of Gibeonians may the blood of Jesus stand active and save anyone that have lifted his hand that have lifted his voice that have humbled himself and respect your word and make covenant with you whomsoever that will listen to this message and come down humble himself and bow himself down and accept to make covenant with you to stand on this world and make covenant. May that covenant remain active. May every calamity go out of that person. May that person be saved in Jesus' mighty name because of the blood that was shed on the cross. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God bless all of you. Collins, God bless all of you. You are all welcome. I pray that from now onwards, please help me to send this message to, to everybody that will love him. Send it as message in your messenger. You can send it also in anywhere you want to send it. And then someone may listen to this and also will be saved and also be serious in his Christian life. I pray that may God give you supernatural ability to walk under the, the influence of the Holy Spirit. Also, please, you can go to um, YouTube and subscribe. And every message that I preach in the church or in wherever I used to send them at YouTube. You can go to YouTube and also when you need to pray. Sometimes some people want to pray. Do you keep alone? No, it doesn't help. Sometimes you need to accompany it by prayer topics. So you can go to what um, um you can go to YouTube and also join the prayer program from there. Oh, my brother, John Opuku, God bless you. I just joined the message, listening to it. I know from now, U.S. and our time is far distant. Please send it as an, an, a messenger. Send it. Help, help me to send it to many people that needed such kind of reconciliation message to reconcile with God, to start a new chapter with God. And you go to YouTube, subscribe. You can go to YouTube, and whenever you are making any prayer or any fasting, there are so many prayer topics there. Go and listen to it and follow the prayer system there. Because most of the prayer I made, uh, I make also, I mostly send them to was, uh, to YouTube for people to follow to pray. That is how I connected many people, and many people connected to it. So if you need me, let me leave my, my number also again. If you are outside in Barcelona, 0034, then if you are in Barcelona also in, or in Europe, uh, you can call from 632807508. You can call 0034632807508. Um, I, I also put it at the point of uh, comment. When you take this number, you can call me if you want to. If I want, if you want to pray with me, it's also WhatsApp number. You can call me. I pray with you, and whatever counseling you need, I can also share idea with you and pray with you. Whatever trouble you need, you have call me, and I pray with you. Share idea with man of God, and let's pray together. May God bless you. Greetings from Christ Discipleship Ministry, Barcelona. Wherever you are, God bless you. Our branch in Kumasi and also uh, Nigeria, also we have our branch over there. And wherever you are, you need to join us. You just call me 
and take direction. Maybe you are in Ghana, maybe you are in Nigeria. There are other parts, but yet we needed to establish it before confirming to the people because many are asking where we can find a ministry. You can also be in your church and also do where as you can. I'm not converting Christian to become another Christian, no. Do where at your church, but you can still consult me when you need to pray with, uh, pray with me and I'll pray with you. And if you want to invite me to your ministry to minister with you, there is no problem at all. I can also come and minister with you wherever you are because I've been traveled to France and other places. And yet there is chance for you. If you call me, if you need to pray with me or you need me in your church, also you try to do your best to inform me in time so that I check my, my timetable to know when it will be possible. So whenever any means you need me, contact me from this number 0034-632-807-508. That is WhatsApp number. And I pray that may God Almighty touch your life. May God visit you at this week. May God do what? visit you at this week. May God answer your prayer. Whatsoever prayer you are making, may God answer you. May God provide you. He is the great dependable provider. May God provide your heart desire. May God meet the heart of your needs. Share this message. Send it. And God will bless you. You are a preacher. I just spoke out. You are the one to diffuse the news. And the one who diffuses the news is the preacher. Preach this news by means of sending a message. As many as you can, send it out. And God will bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Let all the sin. Or let all the children of God say, Amen. God bless you wherever you are. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. We bless your holy name.